I really like Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, and I've played this game a lot of times, so I can have an opinion on this game. And since I've played this game nine times, I can just see that all the area's benefits and, well, not good things that are in the areas, which is why I'm going to rank them right now. It is like the boat and being being airport won't count as their own areas they'll be included in the areas that you are in which makes it a little bit easier to rank these instead of having little mini ones and they would just be at the very end which is not something that i want to just have them at the end do i need an explanation here it's teehee valley you come here once uh, and then, like, you have to do this escort mission, which absolutely sucks. And then the second time, you come here and save Luigi. It's not that bad. But this, just alone. The first time you come here with the escort mission, just makes it suck. And that's why it's the worst on the list. I almost forgot about the boat but it doesn't really add anything to this so that's really why i never really said anything about it but i guess there's the boat so what happens in this area is basically nothing so you come here and then you do an arcade machine and then you just go back to t valley and then you go to a different area and I'm also not counting because you literally cannot go back there, even though you can, like, either, but besides that, you can just, I mean, there's, you can go back to all the video game machines here, you can go back to the barrel mini game, you can go back to the mini game that you just played right after you heal Mario back up from that invincibility mushroom. Which is really just a poison mushroom, but yeah, who cares? But besides all this, this area is really just plain and boring, and there's nothing to do here. There's some good items here, well, from that area. That's really it. You unlock the fire and the thunder power here, but besides that, there's no point in coming back to the island. After the boat, you do come back in the waters. Just so you could wash up into, I think it's called uh, some other island, but it's just some other island that you have to go end up going to. But it's just really a plain and boring area. There's the thunder and the fire. That's really it. There's nothing much to do here. There's no bosses. Stardust Field is the best starting area out of any Mario and Luigi game, including, well, every Mario and Luigi game, duh. But this, you get the two fire, I mean, not fire, the two first bros moves in the game, and the first two bros attacks, which are really solid bros attacks, and want to see where I ranked them, you could go watch my other video um, on the bros attacks that I ranked, but if you don't, then that's perfectly fine. But anyways, this area is easily the best in any Mario and Luigi starting area, and it doesn't end off with a good boss, which just makes it, you know, not that good, but that's, and you have to collect coins just to fight the boss, which also isn't a good gimmick, but anyway, that's really all I have to say for the Stardust Fields. We're out of the bad areas, and now we're into the kind of middle of the pack areas, and starting off with the Bean Bean Castle. And what really saves this from being with the worst is the sewers, because that's the only thing that actually has enemies in this and you can go back to the series anytime, but there's really no point to, because after defeating Queen Bean, there's really no point of going back there, because you're going to get better XP in Chuckle Huck Woods. And that's really why this area is the worst of the middle areas in this game. And that's just because there's not much to do here. There is the 
little side quest where you can get the bros rock and the golden mushroom with the beanlets and the bean stones. That's really it though. This used to be my this used to be the hardest part for me to do. And it's mainly because of that block minigame and also the little Donkey Kong area, but now those are just things that I just shrug off. And really that just makes this area a lot worse. If I did this when I first played this game, this would probably be a lot higher. But now that it's really easy in the Donkey Kong section I still somehow fail at, it's just a little bit higher than the Indian Castle. Guarhar Lagoon is probably another one of these like not bad areas, but it just doesn't have a good thing about this area and that's why I just don't like it. There's not many bad things in this area, but there's not ma there's no good things in this area. Which like the only good thing I could really say is that you learn your the fire bros, the thunder bros, the dash and the tickle. And I don't like saying uh the name of the last one. It just sounds weird. But I'm probably gonna get cancelled for saying that. I don't care. But anyway, the enemies are just like kind of mid. All of them are reskins. And I mean, with these new powers, um, the the dash and the tickle. Oh my gosh! So dumb. Who named it the tickle? Oh my gosh! But anyways, yeah, there's nothing much in this area. There's Hermie and the first Bean Star piece. Not much you do here. There is a side quest, which really just gives you a pretty good item. I don't really know. I got it last. I would not know that. My personal favorite area in the game, but it really just comes down to the area and just how it looks. The music is great, and I love the popple boss fights, which is another reason, but there's three boss fights in this game. Wiggler's probably, I mean, not in this game, in the area, but Wiggler's probably the weakest out of them. And then there is the Chuckalator, which is probably the best. But besides that, I really like just the aspect of this that, and I really like the snail area because kind of reminds me of that one episode of Spongebob where there's like the area of like those snails but besides that this is just a really great area and probably biasy but it's just my ranking and not yours Silk Sand is funny because this area is a joke when you play it nine times but like I can easily complete this area in under like 15 minutes and it might be because I'm over leveled or it might just be because I'm using the great force and the great force is like the most OP thing in the game so there's like no real reason why this thing's called jokes end because actually you know what is funny is that there like in the entire game there's always something named after a bean and after this, there's nothing named after a bean, which I guess that's what jokes and schools to mean, but it's not funny to me. Hoo Hoo Mountain has a really great theme and just a really great vibe that I just vibe with completely. And that just makes me love this area so much more when I have something that I can vibe with. But this is one of the best areas it, almost the best area in the game if the next one didn't exist but for the second area it has some really cool enemies also probably by FC because you know the beanie but besides the beanie there is some other great enemies like the t-rex thing like from yoshi's island that just like grows down no no from mario world yes yeah, from mario world not yoshi's island but those things are really cool and the bosses mainly the horus but you know like the fawful block they will never see again like you getting the hammers it's just a really great area and a lot of things to do 
even though this isn't the biggest area in the game, uh, I think it might actually be, because this area is big. Very big. Who would have guessed? It's the last area in the game. It probably has some of the worst bosses when it comes to the first seven. <coughs> the Koopalings. But the Fawful and, well, Valletta are basically the best bosses in the game. But there's really not much left to say about this besides... I mean, it's just a really great area, and there's actually a lot of puzzles that I really like in this area. This is out of place because I forgot to just put it down as a one, and this is number six. Uh, usually number six would be Hulu University, but, well, it was number six, but now it is since I forgot to put Bean Bean Fools on this list, I'm just going to have to put it at the end. So the outro is going to be after this. And this is done a lot of editing just to put this in here. So please mind this. So number six is going to be Bean Bean Fields. And the reason because of that is because it's a big open area, including Bean Bean Airport and a lot of other places. Which is just why it's number six. And after this, we will start the best area as well. Maybe just after Gua Gua, Gua Harla good. So you made it to the end of the video. Congrats. How about you leave a like and subscribe. Subscribing is free. You can always unsubscribe later. And now out of the YouTuber stuff. I mean, oh well, yeah, but really the video that I was saying that I was supposed to post on Friday, I lost all the footage for, so I'm going to have to re-record it. And it'll probably take another two weeks or so. I don't even know, man. You'll see when it comes out. It might not even come out on a Friday, maybe next Wednesday. I don't even know, because I don't know what I'm supposed to post next Wednesday. Because I don't want to post Paper Jam. Like, that's really just it. So besides that, this is Bowser's Bean, signing off. Bye!